How's it going today? This is Brad with AftermarketTractorParts.com. Today we're working on a 2555 uh, John Deere tractor. Um, load shaft seals. They're the uh, down here at the bottom of your draft arm links. Um, they leak often on John Deere tractors. If you ever owned one, you probably replaced one. Um, common problem, but a pretty simple fix. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's real simple. Um, when they leak there's no stopping them go ahead replace the shaft the bushings the seals the whole works um, we sell kit al40976 is the kit for this 2555 the reason you replace all of them because um, when the bushings get war the shaft get war uh, they don't seal up correctly you'll fight it forever uh, the kit's not very expensive so do it once to replace it uh, drain your hydraulic oil remove your draft arm links um, on this one they're just pinned and I apologize for the camera work today uh, remove them and then there'll be the shaft that'll be sticking out that'll be sticking out like that sticking out the side uh, you can remove the whole shaft just pound it out it'll come out no big deal that's the easy part the hard part is the bushings these bushings pound into your uh, case on your transmission um, there's a seal inside of them Remove the seal from the bushing, okay? And get you a puller. Put the jaws of the puller inside the groove. Then take your old load shaft and go from the opposite side and pound against it. It'll pound out. It's kind of hard, but it'll pound out. So when you want to go back together, put your new seals in the bushings, pound them in, take your shaft, and uh, you'll, run, you'll run your shaft through the thing I suggest with these 2555s, they got a little hole in the end that you pin. Um, grind that hole down some, smooth it out, so when you run it through, it don't uh, it don't catch the packing or the O-ring and ruin it. So just take a Dremel or something, you know, a soft wheel, and grind that down smooth so you can't catch your finger on it. So when you push it through, it'll go through. Um, so hardest part is getting them bushings out. If you do this trick. I got a pair, of, just a little pair of pullers. They stick in there. They stick in the grooves uh, where the uh, seal was. Tighten it up with a bolt. Come from the other side. Pound, pound right into it. Um, works like a champ. If you do that, you'll be a happy guy. Because otherwise, it's a real pain in the butt. Um, but give it a shot. Uh, it's a, it's a, I don't know what the kit is. It's not too expensive, but uh, it's a common problem. This works on several John Deere tractors built in from 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, if you do this, I'm serious, this is this is the trick. Um, you might think I'm crazy telling you about this, but if you try to get them out without doing this, it is a pain in the butt. So give it a shot. Appreciate you watching. This is Brad with AftermarketTractorParts.com. Thanks.